All right, everybody. All right, it's Zane from Really Easy AI. It is time for another 10 minutes or less using Gemini with Gmail. So we had done Gemini with Google Docs. Now we're going to do it with Gmail. Uh, let's jump into it. So it's pretty straightforward. If you have Gmail and you have access to Gemini, now you will have to pay extra for the AI features. So if you don't have those, you'll know it pretty quick. But in order to use Gemini for Gmail, all you have to do is start creating a new email. So let's jump into that real quick. So let me show you what to do. We'll uh, go ahead here into our Compose, start writing a new email. And you can see here, now at the bottom, you may not have it lit up initially, but you'll see a little pencil with a, a star on it that says, Help Me Write. If you tap on that, uh, it will go ahead and bring up the Help Me Write. And then if you click on Help Me Write, now you can put in whatever it is you want to do. In our case, we're going to kind of continue what we did uh, last time from, uh, from the one with Docs. And we're going to say, uh, write an email to HR letting them know we need to hire a full stack developer that knows the mean stack. Write a full job description for this position. Make sure they have at least two years of experience. So we're writing, uh, we're going to go ahead and write HR and let them know that we need this job filled. And away it goes. It starts drafting an email for us. Now, <clears throat> it says, Dear HR, I'm writing to inform you. And then it's got some other cool stuff. Now, this stuff, all this junk you see there, that is known as markdown. So you may want to modify it. So uh, we might want to refine this. Let's see here. Let's see if we can go back in here and head on up to the top here. And we'll say, uh, don't use any markdown. That, that's what that special formatting there is. So let's see if it can do it without markdown. There we go. Yeah, much better, right? So now it's just got little stars. All right, good. So we're in good shape. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, insert that. And that's it. That's, as, that's how easy it is to do whatever it is you want to do. Um, now you'd add your recipients, add your subject, and send it right along. So again, fairly straightforward, pretty easy. Just got to remember to click on Help Me Write. And if you do not have Help Me Write, then of course you may need to take other action. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. I'll just save that as a draft. And moving right along, this one's going to be probably pretty short. So we did Help Me Write. Um, now, summarizing a thread. This one I found interesting because um, Google claims that you know you can have, there's supposed to be a star up here to the right by the setting symbol somewhere that actually has Gemini. And for some workspace accounts, apparently you have it. I don't have it. <coughs> they really touted this feature of summarizing a thread. And to be honest, it pissed me off that I didn't have that ability so i said all right i'll just make my own so let's take any email whether you have a bunch of stuff going on or not and let's say that i got this logitech email right uh actually this logitech email blows let me let me do a different one here we go i got this poe email and uh this is a product here so i announced the availability of opening eyes blah 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 okay great and i want to reply to this so i click on reply well one of the things i can do and help me write is i can say um, put in a summary of uh, the email thread and then let uh, them know uh, I am interested in the uh, changes uh, and look forward to using it. So it actually, even though they don't advertise it, this has the entire email thread as context. So if you just reference the email thread, uh, it will go ahead and look at the whole email thread, summarize it, and then add whatever. So here we go. Thank you for the email regarding the availability of GPT-4.0 and updated Gemini models on Poe, blah, blah, blah. And so uh, I don't know why Google really, really blows when it comes to providing really good examples of how their stuff works. But this is a pretty powerful tool. So you don't need some extra fancy upgrade. I was actually about to pay extra money to get the extra junk. You don't need that. When you're in here and you're, and you're writing, <coughs> if you're replying to something, it actually has, Gemini has access to everything that's been written so far, and you can use that as context for writing what you want to write going forward. Uh, it's pretty powerful, actually. 
Let me show you another example. Let me, uh, let's see here. Let's go back into here. And instead of a summary, I might say something along the lines of uh, put in bullet points. Let's see. Uh, tell, uh, reply, let's do this. Reply, letting the po folks know that I am excited about the new features and provide bullet points for each of the new models they talk about. Right, actually, probably it is not the Poe folks um, reply. Yeah, that's fine, we can do that. All right, so here we go. Because all I'm trying to show you here is that it has access. I'm three thrilled to hear. Now, again, it's doing markdown, right? See the markdown? This is what this is. When it does these, this is called markdown. So, again, I've got to remind it not to use freaking markdown. Don't use any markdown. And we'll update. Because that will frustrate the hell out of you if you don't know what you're doing. All right, well, it's still using markdown. Rat bastard. All right, let's try it again. Mark down ever. <laughs> let's put ever in there. Maybe that'll do the trick. There we go. I mean, kind of, no, not really. Still sucks. Oh, well, we'll run with it. I'll just take a few out. But then at this point, I can insert it, send it along, and we're good to go. I'll make a couple of changes. It's, <laughs> it's never going to be perfect, <clears throat> but that's pretty good. All right, moving on. Uh, now would be a good time to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you would, please. We are headed towards 100K subscribers. Love to have you on board with the with the uh, community. Um, and if you would, please, please remember to like and comment. I love those comments. I answer all my comments thus far. So uh, let me know what you're thinking out there. All right, so refining the output. Just as you would with any other Gemini product, you can refine the output as well. Um, now, this is where things get interesting because... You don't actually select the output um, so much as you just click on it. And, and I don't know why they don't have make it more casual here. They just have formalize. I, that doesn't make any sense to me either. But these, this is all I've got. I've got make it longer, elaborate, make it shorter, shorten, and then i got formalize. So let's take this and shorten it. And so it creates a shorter version. And then we're good to go, right? Pretty easy. And now we can, uh, now that shorter version, again, we can come back, elaborate, formalize. When you insert it, it doesn't replace, it actually inserts it and puts a little line break thing in there. It's kind of frustrating, to be honest. So I guess they're trying to just give you choices and you'll have to manually blow it away. I think the only reason it's really frustrating for me is because my resolution is set um, so uh, low here because I want to make it easy for you guys to read this. I think if you had a higher resolution screen, it probably wouldn't be as annoying, but it's still kind of frustrating. Um, of course, I could elaborate if I want to. And then what I don't understand is why there's not a make it more casual. All I have is formalize. Uh, that makes no sense to me either. So maybe it starts out casual and all it has is formalize, but even once I formalize, there's no, uh, maybe by default it's casual. Uh, that's gotta be it. I think the default is casual, and the only other option is to formalize it or not. I guess. that's I don't know. That one's real confusing. So at any rate, I'll insert that. And again, notice it does that funky line break, and then you got to kind of fix it up a little bit. Not super thrilled with the implementation, but at least it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. And it does get the job done. So at any rate, that's it. Um, that That is it. <laughs> There's really nothing else to it. They kind of bolted it on. We are done. Uh, hopefully you have this available to you in your Gmail and you can play with it. Let me know what you think. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.